Hello everyone, this is Charlie with Battlers Connection. Today I'm going to bring you a brief video on how to balance your impeller on your bilge pump. Today we have the impeller from the latest release of the large bilge pump. I have my uh, balancing block. The balancing block is something that I drew up and I 3D printed and it has slots built into it to slide straight razors in position and lock on there so I keep it pointed down because it is a sharp. This is an eighth inch drill rod. You can find this at, at uh, tool stores like MasterCar, maybe eBay. Um, I use drill rod because it's extremely it's straight. It's a uh, very smooth finish on its surface. And when you use a drill rod, it's less resistive on the really fine edge of a razor blade. I choose razor blades because of the fine edge and it gives the least amount of resistance. I know there's some magnetic balancers on there. Um, I have yet to be able to find one that does an eighth inch shaft. Um, and I don't know how it would be as far as resistive. Um, so I like the razor blade trick. You can build one of these out of piece of plywood and two blocks of wood. You just need enough clearance to make sure that your item can roll inside there. Um, and you just want to get the razor blades somewhat parallel to each other. So when you're looking down it, they look pretty much level across each other. You want to do this on somewhat of a level surface. It doesn't have to be perfectly level because um, you'll be able to tell when you're trying to balance it. On here we have, uh, this is the new large pump impeller. The basic, on the inside of, on the bottom side of it, you'll see that it has these spokes with these pockets next to it. And the set screw passes through one of the spokes. Inside this raised area here is where the brass insert or metal insert is inside that, and the set screw is approximately a quarter of an inch in length. So what happens is, is the, it comes out through the spoke a little bit and that's what causes most of the imbalance in the impeller um, it's improper to put another set screw 180 degrees out of it because what will happen is is when you tighten one set screw it it basically pull with a single set screw system it pulls the impeller to the sh to the side of the shaft if there's any small amount of uh, intolerance inside the bore. If you put a second set screw in, what will happen is if the bore is large, you'll create a pivot point and then the, the impeller can rock. So if you had a set screw here and a set screw here, the impeller can rock this way, which is not good. That's even worse. So it's better to bring the impeller off to one side and then it does not rock anymore because it's actually forced against one side and it can't rock. So what you're going to do at that point is you offset this weight shift or difference by drilling. And I'm using a uh, cordless drill here with a 332nd drill bit. And I drill small pockets with inside these pockets. As you'll see, I got one here that's somewhat pre-balanced. There's the set screw hole, this hole right here, and then two counterbalancing uh, holes to lighten it up on one side. And as you can see, they went into these little pockets here. You don't have to drill all the way home. You just got to be able to break through the side of here. And basically all you're trying to do is remove a little bit of material to lighten up this side to match the weight off of the other side. Most of the impellers that I've ever done in the past, even with the old style, it's, it's always heavy on the set screw side. So you can go through, you take this process slowly. Um, you know, take your time doing it. You only have to do it once for that pump. So once you put the impeller and it's balanced, you know, you got it for the life of the pump. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll, I'll show you. Uh, a basic brand new impeller out of the package. I just set it on the shaft. When I tighten it, I don't tighten it very much. Um, just enough to lock it to the shaft. It doesn't have to be super tight on there because I don't like to mar the shaft of my 
drill rods. When you put it on here, like I said we're on a somewhat of a level surface. You put it on and you'll notice that the impeller is rocking back and forth because it's falling to the heavy side, which would be the set screw side. So basically all you would do is you can either A, wait until it settles down, you grab the impeller, pick it up, and as you can see, it rocked over to the one side. I mean, wow, I'm able to get it to stay on there. How about that? You get lucky sometimes when you're putting it on with there that you don't have to move any. So when I pick it up, you'll see that the set screw is now is the heavy side. So now that you see that, I said I would go through, I would start by drilling one hole close to this vein, but not to interfere with, so you don't damage the threaded port that goes in here. So I would drill next to it and drill another one on the other side of it. Start off with two holes. That's what I've found so far with this particular impeller. Once you do that, rebalance it and see how it's doing. Your, your main goal here is, is when you're balancing this that the impeller wants to keep rolling because if you're, you know, your deck, your, your block here is not perfectly level or you're able to precisionly set this on the, the block and it stay in that position. And you can pick it up and move it and, and be able to move it in multiple positions and it not move. But I've never, I, I rarely get that kind of luck just taking it and putting it on in one spot. As you can see, it's a light one. And when it happens, it sees it wants to keep rolling. And so that's telling me that I'm, I'm fairly accurate with my balancing of the impeller because it's trying to roll in the direction of the imbalance. And as you can see, it's just slowly creeping around and you've seen the holes that's drilled and I'm able, when I got lucky that time and being able to get it to lock in that position. So that, that's showing that the impeller is fairly balanced. I'll give it a 90% uh, balance. It's very hard because of the weight that we're dealing with here. Other, uh, other particular things as far as, uh, maybe some slight imperfection in the drill rod or the resistance in the razor blades are not perfectly, uh, level. So there's so many variables here, but for the most part, as you can see, I'm able to set it on there. It's no longer falling to the heavy side. That is the set screw hole right there. Um, so I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to contact me on the RC Worship Combat Forum. You can contact me on the IRC email forum. You can send me an email at battlersconnection at gmail.com or contact me through the uh, contact section on battlersconnection.com website. I want to thank you and have a good day.